everybody and welcome back to the channel. What was supposed to be the last Godzilla movie ended up breathing some much needed life into the franchise. Because Toho intended for this to be the last Godzilla film, Destroy All Monsters brings together Toho's large collection of monsters. Included in the film are Godzilla, Rodan, Anguirus, Gorosaurus, Mothra, Minya, Manda, Kamunga, Baragon, Vran, and King Ghidorah. This movie, while in the same continuity as the rest of the Showa era Godzilla films, takes place in the future. So technically, this movie doesn't take place in 1968 and should be placed at the end of the series timeline. At the end of the 20th century, Earth's monsters have been contained on an island known as Monsterland. This facility is located somewhere in the Ogasawara Islands. This setup allows for the monsters to live in peace without threatening humanity. However, this is threatened when an alien race called the Kelox seize control of the island and its monsters. The Kelox unleash the monsters on a destructive rampage across the world in an attempt to conquer Earth. We get to see Godzilla in New York, Rodan in Moscow, and Gorosaurus in Paris. One of the main characters, Katsuo Yamane, and the crew of the Moonlight SY-3 are sent into battle as Earth's defense against the Kelox, as the Earth struggles to discover and disable the source of the alien's mind control. When the monsters are finally freed, they must battle King Ghidorah, who now confronts the monsters at Mount Fuji and now under Kelok control. Leading up to the most famous and biggest monster battle in Toho history. The cast for this film is again not very rememberable. Akira Kubo returns as Katsuo, a far departure from his first role as Tetsuo from Invasion of Astro Monster. Jun Tazaki and Kenji Sahara also return. While the cast certainly has great chemistry on screen, there just isn't anything in particular that sticks out. For what was supposed to be the last Godzilla film in the series, this movie goes all out. It features a large monster cast, but the monsters don't get a whole lot of screen time, and that's disappointing. When the monsters are on screen, it's glorious. It's fun seeing the monsters show up in different cities across the world instead of just keeping them in Japan. Unfortunately for a movie titled Destroy All Monsters, there isn't a whole lot of screen time dedicated to the monsters. This changes when the monsters attack Tokyo and you start to see them more. I understand that some of the suits may not have been in great condition, but it would have been great to see more of them. The movie does seem to drag a little bit at parts until the battle at Mount Fuji, but there is a fair amount of time dedicated to the battle which makes up for it. Personally, I don't mind the final battle ending up being against King Ghidorah. It's always fun watching him fight everyone and then get overpowered. I remember when I was younger and I would recreate that and the Tokyo destruction scenes from this movie. The team up at the end with all the monsters really had an Avengers vibe. Overall, I found this to be a really fun movie. It's a historic and classic movie that no G fan should miss. I'm gonna give this movie 3.5 out of 5 stars.